Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with white chili. It's called white chili because it features chicken instead of beef, and white beans, or great northern beans, instead of the red kidney beans or the pinto beans. But uh, it's really delicious, and here we go. I'm going to take a couple pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm going to cut them in like half-inch pieces. In my stock pot, with a little bit of vegetable oil, on high heat, I am going to cook those chunks of chicken and give them a stir once in a while. We're going to cook that for about five minutes. And they're not really going to brown, but you're going to see what's going to happen here. While those are cooking, I'm going to get my other ingredients together. I have one onion diced. All right, a little bit of garlic. I have some cumin, a little cinnamon. Don't leave it out. Some chipotle pepper, some cayenne, some pepper, some salt, some oregano, and uh, that's about it. All right, so you see what happens here. As the chicken cooks, it slowly gives up liquid, water, and various other things. It evaporates, and as soon as that chicken juice starts to kind of get a little bit syrupy and starts to caramelize onto the bottom, that's when you're going to add your onions and spice mix. All right, we're going to saute that for about five minutes. I want to toast the spices a little bit, let the uh, onions soften. All right, and don't worry if you see a little bit of, uh, you know, stuff sticking or caramelizing onto the bottom of the pot. We want that. Then I'm going to add a quart of chicken stock, and we're going to bring that up to a simmer. While that's happening, I'm going to take my peppers. I got a red, I got a green, and I got some jalapeno. Dice those up. I'm going to throw those in. I'm going to add a can, well, just a small can, of the diced tomato that has the green chili in it. Rotel is the most popular brand. All right, and you can just put in some fresh tomato if you prefer. All right, we're going to cook that for about 30 minutes. So it's just going to simmer for 30 minutes. I'm going to bring it up to a simmer, turn the heat down to medium-low. I'm going to drain, but not rinse. I'm just going to drain two cans, any kind of white bean. These are great northern beans, uh, the Italian uh, cannellini beans, the uh, white kidney, uh, navy beans, etc. So pretty much anything. We're going to put the beans in. I'm going to simmer that for another half hour on low. And when it's cooked for about an hour, the chicken should be tender, should be falling apart. I'm going to take my potato masher, and you may remember this trick from such videos as, I forget which one it was. But anyway, there was a video where I smashed the beans to thicken the soup. I think it was the bumblebee soup. What you're going to do is you're just going to smash a few of the beans against the bottom of the pot, and that's going to thicken it up. It's also going to smash a little bit of that chicken, and uh, just gives it a nice texture, I think. To finish... We're going to throw in some fresh cilantro, optional, but I like it. And that is a simple chicken and white bean chili, a.k.a. white chili. Do me a favor. Do not skip the cinnamon. And you probably never put the cinnamon in when I tell you. This time, put it in, okay? If you're really smart, you're going to make some uh, cornbread. Just a natural pair. This would be great for your Super Bowl parties or, you know, any party. Or just make it needed alone. Anyway, go to the site. The ingredients are there. Of course, where else would they be? And uh, as always, enjoy. Enjoy.